Hi everybody, welcome back to my craft room. Today I'm going to be making another beach themed candle with mostly items that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. I have a cylinder candle holder, a two and a quarter by three inch vanilla candle. I purchased these little blue glass gemstones at the Dollar Tree. Also a styrofoam block that I've trimmed down that's going to fit down inside of this when we're ready. I purchased this glitter paper that comes in three different colors. It's purple, green, and blue. We're going to be using the blue. It has a self-adhesive back, which is very thin when you peel it off and kind of difficult to work with. So I think I'm just going to leave it on and hot glue this right to here. Because I tried it before and I really had a hard time getting the wrinkles and bubbles out of it. I purchased some jute string. I believe I purchased this at Walmart because the one at the Dollar Tree was just a little too thin for what I wanted for this project. I have some starfish and some shells that I purchased at my local craft store. They had these shells at the Dollar Tree, but they were just one kind of shell and they're a little bit too big for this project. So I'm not going to be using those today, but I'm sure I will sometime in the future. Alright, so first we're going to glue our glitter paper, which I cut to a three inch strip, just right above the bottom. Like I said, if you want to try to get it on there, Using the adhesive back, I mean, you can try that too, but I did not have any luck with that. Okay, now that that's glued on, I'm going to take another three inch piece of the glitter paper and peel off the back. That way we can hide our seam in the back. to get the wrinkles out of. Once it gets a wrinkle, right, let's try it this way. There we go. Okay. And now you can't see where your seam was. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. So now we're going to take our jute string and we'll start in the back, just right on this line, and start gluing this on. Going around. Covering up that line. Okay, now we're just going to keep wrapping this around and adding some glue every now and again until we get it up to about as high as we want it. Okay, we're just going to keep wrapping. You don't have to glue this every row. I kind of like skipped a row and then just put 
push it down on top of each other and it'll hold. Otherwise that would have taken forever. So I think I'm just going to go around one more time here. Or so. Alright, I'm find my back. Got this. Just going to cut this off. Okay. And of course, my glue webs are everywhere. Alright, we'll get those later. Now, I'm going to attach my shells. I think I want them this way because I like the color better on this side. So I'll just attach that with some hot glue. And I want one of these in the back. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to add a couple of these shells. There. And we'll put one right here. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now we have our shells attached all the way around. I think that looks really cute. This will look great out on a patio or a deck or even in the house. It would look nice on a coffee table if you're at the beach or just want to be at the beach. Okay, so now I'm going to insert my styrofoam. No, I'm not because it's too big. Okay, hold up. Okay, now we want to insert our styrofoam block. I cut this down to three inches tall and then I just trimmed it off until it fit in there nicely. This is just to really take up some space so I don't have to use a ton of these gems. And then we're going to just put in our gems. wiggle my candle in until it's level. Get a couple more of these so they show on the side. Okay, now we're going to place in our candle. Center, try to center that. And then we're going to put some of these gems down around the sides of it. You kind of want to have to hold your candle to keep it centered as you're putting your stones. Hopefully this is going to hold it. Yep. And we'll just put in as many as you want, however high you want it up on your candle. It just makes it look really pretty at night, especially, you know, when you're outside. It'll actually make the stones glow a little bit. So you can just play with that however you play around with it, however you want it. I think that looks good like that. Oh, I need a couple more over here. Okay, 
I'm going to keep messing around with this because it's starting to look pretty cool. I don't want it up that high. Okay. So there's our candle. All ready to go. I'm going to try to cut these lights out a little bit and we'll light up the candle and see how it looks. Okay guys, here's our finished candle. I think it came out really well. I like it a lot. Well that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this craft idea and I'll see you again next time.